Hello world, we are in the forest and we have I have to you today to show the new Hyundai Tucson, the new model from Hyundai. I will start showing you the car around from exterior. It has kind of interesting design, how it looks, kind of futuristic. So I'll start with the front, of course, we have this integrated daylights in the grid. They call it parametric hidden lights, so they are LEDs integrated in the, in the grid. I will also post it immediately, uh, how it looks in the night, it really looks quite, quite cool. Of course, we have all the systems, new system integrated on the cars, cameras, adaptive cruise control. Let me open the bonnet. So we have a uh, hybrid engine. Yeah, it complains that the key is with me and not in the car and the engine is started. You don't hear it now because it's on the electric. You can hear a nice electric sound. So we have a hybrid solution, 1.6 TGDI combustion engine and an electric motor. They work together and provide 230 horsepower. To be honest, I do not feel it so much potent, this uh, combination, like for 230 horsepower. Uh, you feel the, the boost at low speeds from the electric engine, of course, but then you actually do not feel it after you pass 130, 140, you don't feel it much more you know I was expecting more from a 230 power uh, combination you know engine and combustion engine and electric but yeah it it looks good and the autonomy is really nice I mean I drove it in the city it has kind of a good regenerative uh, engine and mechanism I feel it that they made a lot of progress and the automotive industry is doing a lot of progress in this direction on the sides uh, you have these plastic covers, protections, big brake discs on the front because I think mostly the regeneration is made from there and smaller on the back. What I notice is this aluminium bar with a nice design which starts from here and goes until the end it's integrated in the side mirrors. And nice lines for giving kind of uh, I'm, I'm sure they have also an, um, an um, how they say aerodynamic uh, reason behind but it's also uh, made the car looks quite nice from the back LEDs of course in the front matrix of LEDs they are not a laser uh, they are uh, matrix of um, LEDs nice is that we have a quite big logo here integrated in the back window with a plastic protection the rear wimper is integrated here it's not quite very effective i would mention still but yeah it at least i'm sure it also provide kind of a aerodynamic reason or functionality uh plastic here air diffuser Tucson hybrid Hyundai on the left uh, what else of course we have cameras we have automatic trunk opening combustion engine started it's 100 liter more than the old Tucson you don't have this spare wheel a lot of places to deposit it's actually quite good if you also put the back chairs back seats you get really really good nice space to looks quite i would say luxurious a lot of combinations in a creative way 
but one thing that I always let's say complain about Hyundai is the quality of the materials of course the car is new now you don't feel it but you actually will feel it in the near future and also if the music is loud if you have a bumpy road you feel this kind of materials you know having uh, the, the the vibration feeling the noise so these things you I I uh, I, meant, I I saw it in the all the Hyundai cars that I tested of course electric controls all over the place ah. nice dashboard 10.5 inch you can configure it in different ways for the drive modes we have an echo and a sport mode you see how it looks and also you have a terrain mode so for snow for mud for sun for sand uh, this design for a steering wheel it looks to me very familiar from Audi A8 uh, as I was saying as I was saying a lot of aluminium a lot of uh, shiny plastic buttons leather anywhere attention to details as I was saying you see this nice uh, controls here from plastic but they look really luxurious I would say 10.5 also inch screen for the infotainment a lot of and actually most of them if not all of them are uh, touch sensitive you have uh, also really nice thing that I saw it in the last generation cars the um, for the, for the um, transmission for the gear changer you have buttons you don't have any more gear shifting uh, but it's actually really responsive really nice and it works quite well uh, button as I was saying in the heated seats ventilated seats 300 degree uh, camera you can configure it to view different views really nice much more a better quality from the last versions for the cameras I would say they did some improvement there wireless charging places to deposit things so I would not insist on that what is really also new is there are these air vents they are they I got the feeling that they are kind of somehow from from Tesla or they look like the one that you find in Tesla at least from the Model 3 but it's nice effective and you have a diffuse button here which really you get the as you get the feeling in the airplane the air is circulated automatically from all the vents so that it can create a really nice atmosphere uh, inside uh, the car what else uh, the seats are quite good you had also some aluminium insertion as I was saying so you they, you see that somehow they try to stick with the, um, the, the trend right now all of the cars they are improving their quality in the materials what materials they are using try to look more creative try to look more spectacular you also see this in Hyundai but as I was saying the minus for me is kind of the materials that they use from the vibrations from the uh, the, the noise are here the noises are here for for this so unfortunately they did not improve this too much let's get also in the back you have shifting pedals of course car comes with an automatic transmission uh, this uh, protection for the rear windows Sun shields then uh, of course again shiny plastic heated seats in the back kind of nice combination with shiny plastic metallic textile and leather as I was saying nice creative way to do the interior of the car good space at the interior I hope you see something climate control in the back uh, nice feeling being in the car also in the back very good uh, and comfortable sitting position a lot of place this the driver's seat is also configured for me I'm 185 and you see I have a lot of space still let me show you how you can control remotely the last three buttons as I was mentioning how you can remotely control the car firstly you check that is locked once it's locked you press the whole button I don't know if you see but actually the car started 
and now you can move it if it says and the sensors are active if it says that something it stop her it will just automatically stop the car now if you want to move it in the back you just can do it like this so nice so easy so futuristic of course it's on the electric engine 